today we're going to discuss probability, uh, and we're going to look at the topic of expected value. And to, to discuss expected value, uh, let's look at a uh, friendly game of chance. Uh, so here's the question. Your friend challenges you to a friendly game of chance. It costs $1 to play. If you win, you get $2. And all you have to do to win is roll a six-sided dice and roll a five or a six. How much money should you expect to win? And I have win here in quotation marks, uh, and we'll see why in a second. So expected value, the expected value is how much you would expect to win on average over time. So let's say you, you play this game a thousand times. You play this game 10,000 times. Uh, on average, how much are you winning? How much are you losing each game? So to look at expected value, we take a look at the probability of winning times the profit. So not how much you win but how much you profit from your winnings. And then subtract from that the probability of losing times how much you lose your loss. So when we take a look at this problem here, uh, you need to roll a 5 or a 6 to win. So there are two ways to succeed out of six possible outcomes. So you have a one in three chance of winning. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. The probability of winning would be one out of three. If you don't win, you lose. So using the complement rule, if you have a one in three chance of winning, you have a two in three chance of not winning, of losing. So now all we need to figure out is how much you would profit from winning and how much you would lose from losing. All right, so you win two dollars. You win two dollars, but it costs you a dollar to play the game. So you need to do one you need to do 2 minus 1 to determine that you would profit a single dollar by playing. So we would do 1 third times a dollar, we'd profit a dollar, minus, I'm going to move my subtraction sign a little bit closer here, minus 2 thirds times, and it costs a dollar to play the game, so times 1. So we're doing 1 third times 1 minus 2 thirds times 1. And if we were to plug and chug this, you would end up with a negative 1 third. Or since we're dealing with money here, I'm going to say a negative 0 0.33. So on average, you would lose 33 cents. That's what the negative 0 0.33 would say. So uh, if you play the game a hundred times, a thousand times, ten thousand times, in a single game you would never lose 33 cents. But over, on average, over time, you would lose about 33 cents playing this friendly game, which would also mean that your friend is profiting on average 33 cents. And uh, they're probably a happy person, and after playing for a few hours, you might not be a happy person yourself. So that's something to consider.